welcome to the Big March Freedom Ride. We have physical, mental, and spiritual freedom. This is what one of the things stands for. This is our way to honor his work through the bicycle. We ride to improve the position of our neighborhood. We ride to transform our community. We really appreciate you all riding with us.
and communities of color across Chicago, across the U.S., and across the world. Our vision is a mid to large sized city where racial equity is fully integrated into every aspect of how that city operates. The city at a legislative policy level has a racial equity lens that determines how resources are being distributed in that city. Our target audience, black, brown, indigenous people of color around the world. Our process, number one, mobilization, number two, politicization, number three, organization, and the end result is number four, transformation. We mobilize people. We bring people together, either because they're angry or they're excited or they're happy, whatever the reason, we bring them together. We mobilize people. And then we politicize people. We talk to them and, uh, and teach them about the issue of racial equity, the issue of increased mobility, the issue of racial justice. We teach them and inspire them to care. And then we organize them. We ask them to go out and execute projects and programs that help us achieve our purpose and vision and mission of the organization. And the end result is a transformation in our neighborhoods. Our work is designed to reduce violence, improve health, create jobs, and ultimately make our neighborhoods more livable. All right. Equity does not mean equality. They're two separate concepts. This is a graphical example to show you the difference between equality and equity. Woo! Equality is a policy based on everyone receiving the same thing. When someone starts out in a disadvantaged position, receiving the same as everyone else is not effective. Equity is the fair, just distribution of resources, explicitly prioritizing and targeting the people who need the resources the most, and using those resources to address both contemporary and historical injustices in our society. Equity means those who need the most receive the most. Under a policy of bicycle equity, the people who deserve and need the most bicycle resources are the people who ride the least. In Chicago, in the US, that's black, brown, indigenous, low to moderate income, people of color. That's where resources should go, to include that community, that population, in the activity of cycling. Next. The benefits of cycling. You all know this. This is academically rigorous, peer-reviewed research. The more people ride bikes in our society, the better we improve community health. The activity of cycling is a physical activity. It's an active form of transportation. And who's the most disproportionately adversely impacted by healthcare disparities? Us. We, when we, when we ride bikes more in neighborhoods, we attract retail to the neighborhood. Because people who ride bikes more want to do their shopping, want to go to restaurants, want to, want to explore the neighborhoods more without having to get in the car and drive miles outside the neighborhood. So we attract jobs to our neighborhoods through cycling. And then the final one is reduce violence. Community rituals, such as a community bicycle ride, a walking tour, a park festival, helps increase social cohesion. When social cohesion goes up in a neighborhood, are more likely to walk and bike and engage in the space in their neighborhood. And when we walk and bike in our neighborhoods, we'll suffocate violence. Our work is designed to reduce violence, improve health, create jobs, and ultimately make our neighborhoods more livable. Burn it down and build anew. In the words of one of my favorite people, Marlo Stanfield from HBO's The Wire. You want it to be one way, but it's the other way. We're not asking for equality. We're demanding equity. This is how we ride bikes in Chicago. Burn it down.
we build up what supports us. We burn down racist, paternalistic, biased, inequitable systems and structures and institutions in our society. We build up redemptive systems and structures in our society. This is what we do. We burn and build from the inside and the outside. We call it the community power matrix. My name is Obai Olatungi. Obai Reed. And this is how we ride bikes in Chicago, Illinois, United States, and around the world. Hey, listen. We ride bikes to make our world a better place. Gabriella, stand up. Marcio, stand up. Wayman, stand up. Peru, Venezuela, Brazil. All right, listen up. We ride freedom We ride physical, mental, and spiritual. All right. Repeat after me. We ride bikes. We ride bikes. To make our world a better place. Now turn on the equity and let power and equity flow. Thank you.